Hi everyone, uh, Mr Hobbs here. I'm here to talk to you about the two music courses that we're on offer this year. Uh, the first one is a music practitioner's course, which is uh, for your practical needs. So if you play an instrument or sing. Uh, and the second option this year that we're brand new that we're introducing this year is a music technology option, uh, which will uh, look through studio work. It will look through podcasts. It will look through a lot of computer based things. You don't have to play an instrument for that. It's all recording studio based microphones, producing all those kind of things. OK, uh, so there's a couple of questions on there. Do I need to play an instrument? Do I have to sing? Do I need instrument lessons? Do I have to perform in front of people? And how much coursework is there? So those are the kind of answers, uh, questions that I'm going to um, answer for you in today's uh, PowerPoint. So do I need to play an instrument? No, but it, it, it is an advantage if you already play. Uh, you're assessed on your progress uh, you make rather than how good you are on your chosen instrument. You can also take a technology option, which means you will use music software and hardware for the entire two years. Also, you can use DJing, you can use lots of other different uh, in instruments as well. Um, so you don't have to play a, a traditional kind of instrument. Is my voice an instrument? So can I sing all the way through for two years? Of course you can. OK, it's it's quite viable to use your voice as an instrument. You can sing for your exam. You can do everything. OK, uh, how is my progress recorded? Bas mainly lesson logs. You can use videos to capture progress and you can even just talk into a microphone and record audio instead of having to type and uh, write stuff out. You can do it all via an audio. Uh, technology to perform, yes, we've got things like Ableton Push, we've got DJing. They are classed as live instruments, so you can use them and perform with them for your uh, final exam in year 11. So, practical guitar. OK, you can play electric guitar. Maybe you want to play a little bit different to that. You can sing. You can rap, you can beatbox, you can do all these kind of things. Uh, you can play electric drums. We have a set of electric drums in school. You can play normal drums. You can play violin, you can play piano, you can play flute, woodwind. Like I said, you can DJ or you can do some uh, live Ableton push, it's called. Uh, some drumming and things like that on the, the, the on that instrument. So coursework is 100%. These are the three units that we cover. OK, so you'll look at two different styles for your first one, compare them, write about them. The next one's all about your instrument study, how well you're doing in your instrument, taking care of your instrument, developing your skills. And then your last one is your final performance in year 11, which is a live music performance. And you'll plan it from beginning to end, lighting, fashion, everything that you that comes with a stage performance you'll be planning. OK, so the flip side of that, music technology. We've got studios, OK, recording studio got podcasts you can record yourself talking you can do interviews with people you can do anything you want we've got recording so using microphones to record guitar record drums um, electric guitars learning all about microphone placements different time of microphones uh, how they work in a studio linking them up to computers and you'll be using software like this called logic x pro x which is a, just a more intense version of garage band which i'm sure you've all used by now or the ableton uh, software as well which is also a recording software just the same as the pr practitioner's course, technology is 100% coursework. OK, there's no written exam in any of these um, subjects. So you'll study the same subjects uh, as the pr practitioners for unit one, which is all about listening to music and researching and, and devising. Unit two, podcasts. OK, this could change. If I have a few uh, people who want to do something different, I can structure the course to your kind of needs. That's absolutely fine. And then the final uh, exam is your live sound recording. So you will learn, you will plan and set up a live recording um, you might work with the practitioner guys uh, so they could play and they could you could uh, record them in the studio we have at school okay so if you do sign up you will receive an instrument lesson for free okay that's technology or, pra or practical it's up to you okay so if you want to get involved with that please let me know 20 minutes a week coming out of a lesson and doing an instrument of your choice okay so just a few things there about what parents might say. Music is soft option. No, employers love uh, musicians. They love musicianship. They love the self-management, teamwork. OK, customer awareness, problem solving, communication. OK, there's loads of different things. It isn't an EBAC subject, but it does still count towards your progress eight. OK, so it's still as important as your GCSEs in terms of um, making progress in them. 90 percent of those earning over 50 grand a year studied a musical instrument at some point. OK. So please be aware that it is not a soft option. It's, it's just because it's not a written academic subject. It's a very creative, practical, and it will not narrow your career options one bit. Okay, employers love it. Okay, so 
thank you very much. If you have any questions about year 10 or 11, please pop them into the Teams chat from the, for, for our music teams and I'll get back to you. And hopefully I look forward to seeing lots of you next year. Thank you for listening, guys. Cheers.